Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and today we're going to be talking about these two spiders. What I've got here is a brown recluse, and what I've got here is a black widow. These are the two most famous deadly spiders in the United States. And we're going to be answering the question today, which of these two spiders is deadlier? So you guys may remember this guy from last week's video when we did the episode on the brown recluse. And this is just a black widow that I went and caught really quickly. They're both really common and easy to find spiders. And both of these guys are considered medically significant or in other cases deadly spiders here in the United States. They're both very famous and they are known to cause pretty bad bites in the United States. But I'm here to answer which of these two spiders is deadlier. So I'm going to put this guy off to the side for a minute. This is the brown recluse and we're going to talk about this little guy. This is the Black Widow. Now Black Widows stay pretty small. This is a pretty decent size one here. And you'll actually notice it put a little bit of webbing in the container pretty quickly. It hasn't been in here long and it already put some webbing in there and that's normal for a Black Widow spider to do. They build little crazy webs to catch bugs in and all kinds of stuff. Now these guys have a special kind of neurotoxin called latrotoxin, very specifically named for Black Widows very very rough stuff to get bit by and there's all sorts of different side effects from muscle spasms and heart palpitations all kinds of weird stuff you'll really feel like you want to puke you'll feel dizzy lightheaded after getting bit by the spider and these are some really bad symptoms that you can get when you get bit by a black widow it doesn't always happen it depends on how much venom the spider injects into you and how bad you react to the venom now one thing about black widows is they're a lot easier to recognize from a brown recluse meaning people know a lot easier if they got bit by a black widow. Normally a little spot will um, develop where you got bit by a black widow, like a little hole, and it's good to ice that down. If you ever get bit by a black widow, you want to put ice on it immediately, and then you want to get medical treatment. Now, this spider is very common, especially around houses, very similar to the brown recluse, which makes both of these guys something that people will pretty commonly encounter. Now, black widows, before really good medical treatment came in, over 5% of the bites from black widows resulted in deaths from this spider, which is a pretty low number, but that's still a decent amount of people. Now, both of these spiders have extremely potent venom for being such a small spider, and they can eat pretty much anything that they can get a hold of and get that venom into, anything small, but people aren't on the menu. They're not out to bite people. They bite people out of self-defense, so like if one were to get inside your shirt or it's in your shoes or your gloves, that's when they end up biting people most of the time. Now I'm going to put this little guy off to the side for a second and we're going to pick up the brown recluse. Now you can see the brown recluse, a little bit of a harder spider to identify. It's just a normal looking small brown spider. Now unlike the black widow, these guys don't have a neurotoxic venom. These guys have a hemotoxic venom, which actually affects the bloodstream a lot more and causes necrosis, which is really, really bad. And this is what these guys are known for, but it doesn't occur in every single bite from these guys. It depends on the size of the spider and how your body reacts to the venom. Now it's really bad if you do end up getting necrosis from this spider, but you would have to go untreated for it to end up like that, which actually is more common than not because most people don't know when they get bit by the spider because it normally takes a couple days to actually really affect your body. But it's really bad to get bit by the spider, but it's also very rare for deaths to occur. Not all deaths are recorded, but there are very, very few, very minute amount of deaths from the spider. But they do have a really bad reputation because of the looks of the bites, meaning if you look up brown recluse bite, you're going to see some of the spider bites. And I'm not going to show it in the video because I actually don't want to get demonetized. It's really, really bad. Seriously, I'm going to say look it up yourself right now, but it literally rots a giant hole in you and it looks super bad. Oftentimes they have to amputate parts of the body when that happens, but it's super bad when you get the necrosis. But like I said before, that's very rarely happens. I think they said only 10% of bites or even less than 10% of bites have that ended up happening. Now, here in the United States, most of our deadly spider bites happen from these two spiders. There are a couple of other ones, but these are the main two culprits. And we're really wondering, you know, which one would have a more potent venom? And that's kind of hard to test without really having somebody getting bit, and I ain't getting bit by them. You can go ask somebody else to get bit by one of those. But <laughs> these spiders have a seriously bad venom, and really they have very different effects, meaning one of them, you know, I'm actually gonna pick them both up and hold them next to each other for now. 
Now, one of them, on the other hand, has really bad full body effects, meaning you'll have a stomach ache, you'll have muscle spasms, whereas this one takes a long time to actually happen and affect your body, unless you have a seriously bad reaction to it. Both these spiders are completely different, and both are considered dangerous. You never want to get bit by either one of these spiders. They're both extremely small, which is interesting. Most deadly spiders are actually have a bit of size to them. And they're very intimidating to a lot of people, but you shouldn't be worried about these two spiders. If you ever see one, they're not something that you should be terrified of. It's very rare to get bit by one of these spiders, and neither one of them is aggressive. Neither one of them is going to come after you to bite you. So just be careful when you're slipping on your boots or your gloves or anything like that, just to make sure if you know that the, either of these spiders live in your area, check your boots and check your gloves before slipping them on because that's how most people get bit. Now when it comes to which of these two spiders is deadlier, I would have to say that the Black Widow is a little bit deadlier. And it's really hard to tell, this is going to be kind of my opinion, but 5% death rate before good medical treatment is actually a higher death count than the brown recluse would have because most people wouldn't actually die from the bite of a brown recluse. It's really rare to die from either of these spiders but I would have to say that the black widow would be the deadlier of the two because it's a little bit harder to treat and honestly on average it's worse to get bit by a black widow because the effects are more consistent I would say because brown recluse bites vary from being really not so bad to being really terrible, whereas black widows almost always cause serious problems when you get bit by them. But like I said, these guys are both really bad to get bit by. Try to avoid them if you can, but don't be scared of them. A lot of people have arachnophobia and they're really scared of spiders and that's okay. But if you ever see one, you shouldn't fear for your life. Just know, hey, that's a spider. Don't pick it up, don't touch it, and just check that you, know, you don't have one in your gloves or your boots before you put them on, because that's how these guys will end up biting you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. I think I'll keep both of these. <laughs>